when no journalist perhaps would be worth his thought, frankly, if he didn't ask you the question, why? That is a question that probably should have gone to the government of Uganda. We have the Ugandan ambassador yeah. here. He will Why course, uh, would respond. a Ugandan be brutally arrested? Why would a Ugandan be tortured? Why would a Ugandan be citizen be framed with possession of guns only later for the um, claims to be dropped by the government? I also still wonder why, now that we are with the ambassador of Uganda, maybe he will explain to us why so many Ugandans are being tortured, are wrongfully arrested, and indeed killed. Maybe he's in better position to answer why. Mr. My Mr. brother, Ambassador Katende, I know that uh, you were not in Uganda. You were here with me, but you obviously represent the government of Uganda. Exactly. How do you respond? To this? Thank you very much, uh, 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 Dr. Shaka. And Without uh, the clinic, of course, uh, because you might mislead the patients to come to me. Yeah, I, I, I am glad to be here with the Honorable here. Actually, as ambassador, I took the responsibility to look him up because I saw him coming on clutches. I even went to the hospital to, to check whether, because as ambassador, I'm responsible for, for the welfare of all people who visit in the U.S. and those who reside in it. But I was told that he had been uh, examined and discharged. So I said, well, mm -hmm. it means he's OK. Mm -hmm. But of course, since then, I saw him with two clutches. He's now with this walking stick, meaning that uh, things are improving, as he says. My only problem has been uh, the purpose of his mission. Uh, and I take it that it is double. Hmm. Is he on medical, but also for political uh, activities? But before which you, is you not go, a crime. Before it's you go any further, Mr.